Yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Coast Guard Auxiliary today. 9-11 um, personally rocked me, and I always vowed that I'd find some way to serve my country. I wasn't in the military, and uh, so I took the boating safety class with my wife down here in Marathon, Florida, and at that time I was also uh, learning how to uh, fly, and I found out that they had an aviation program. So the rest is history. I got very involved with that. Jerry was my mentor. Uh, in the aviation program and became a first pilot and uh, so we fly generally uh, once or twice a week down here in the Florida Keys. Um, boating safety is really the number one priority of the Coast Guard Auxiliary and uh, so we're uh, sent off to do boating patrols. Uh, search and rescue is what we practice all the time so if there is an incident out there where a boat is disabled or they're having some kind of a medical problem uh, we're all trained uh, to be able to go out and locate that boat and then stay with that vessel uh, until other help, surface help arrives, whether it be sea tow or in the case of an emergency, another Coast Guard boat. So that's what we do. Uh, we also do uh, counts along the reef uh, for boats for NOAA when we have time and uh, so that they know how many uh, recreational boats and uh, commercial boats are using the spa areas the, in the sanctuary for tying up and uh, going snorkeling. So they like to get that information. But really we're a search and rescue organization and uh, we're available on call and that's what we do. Hi, my name is Ed Cook. I'm an aircraft commander. I've been in this for only a year. Uh, Jerry's been in this for more than 10, I'm sure. 14. As it turns out, I've been flying almost all my life, 49 years. This was one of the few times that I have found that I myself can put something back into society with my skills as a pilot. Not my money, but I myself. What happens down here is we work for Air Station Miami, but our customer is Sector Key West. We get our marching orders from Sector Key West, we clear them with Air Station Miami, and we are part of Air Station Miami. Uh, Bob and I both fly uh, single engine aircraft, and uh, we assist other people in helping voters or in law enforcement and we assist. We do not enforce or save lives but we could assist the Coast Guard or the law enforcement people in their, pro in their uh, jobs. The Coast Guard Auxiliary is the only organization uh, that supports a branch of the military that is uniformed. So as Coast Guard Auxiliary we go through an awful lot of training, but our role is to assist the Coast Guard. That's exactly what we do. And we do that on the water in, in boats, and uh, we do that uh, in the air. Uh, one of the things that the Coast Guard appreciates is that all of us that are flying in the auxiliary, um, we know this area down here quite well. We've been down here for some time. And so uh, we know that where a lot of the derelict vessels are. Um, so, but we do, we are part of the Coast Guard and uh, we work for the Coast Guard. We're recognized as Coast Guard pilots when we're in the air. Uh, when we are flying for the Coast Guard, we are considered active duty. Uh, we go through the same training, mostly the same training as all Coast Guard pilots. And that's where our orders come from. Our orders come from Air Station Miami and they tell us exactly, you know, what we need to be doing and give us the clearance to do it and uh, they're the ones that also help us do all of our search and rescue training and uh, we're part of that same network just like uh, just like the regular Coast Guard pilots in their larger airplanes are. Since Hurricane uh, Irma happened uh, we lost quite a few members uh, to our, co our local flotilla of the Coast Guard Auxiliary here in Marathon. There are numerous uh, people were living in boats that were destroyed and other people just lost their homes and they, they moved uh, inland. And uh, so we're out, uh, we're trying to kind of uh, get some new members into the Coast Guard Auxiliary down here. Uh, we do a lot of uh, vessel inspections down here. Um, we do the boating safety courses down here and we just support safe boating uh, at every opportunity. We work with the Coast Guard in their training and um, so that's what we do. And so we're looking for people who would be interested in serving their country. It's a great way to serve your country and it's very, very personally rewarding and it's a great group of people. I'm Jerry Metcalf. I was in the Air Force for five years. I got out and then uh, when I got up here, uh, I bought a plane and uh, started flying. I flew, I've flown since 1980, uh, 19, 
94 for the Coast Guard. And uh, it's just been one of the, actually I got about 3,000 hours more than I had in the Air Force. But it's really been good, good flying. I've uh, done a lot of stuff that I would never have done. And I know a lot more about the Coast Guard. I was a captain in, uh, in the boat. I had a boat and I used that in the Coast Guard Auxiliary also. Um, auxiliary is a great place to help yourself and help the country. If you, anybody looking at this is interested in it, give Ed and Bob a call and uh, they'll take care of you and we'll get you started. All right, my name is Ed Cook. I'm an aircraft commander. Uh, once again, I joined the Coast Guard because it was one way that I could put back to our country uh, with my effort, not necessarily my money, but my effort. We are looking for anybody that would be interested and has the same feelings, be that a pilot, be that a, a boat owner, be that someone just interested in nautical issues and safety. Uh, if you're at all interested, please do look us up on the web. It's uh, Coast Guard Flotilla 13-2 in Marathon, and you can get our contact information from that.